Sanko AP Physics Experiment Number 8, Circular Motion. Students can investigate circular motion in a perfectly horizontal plane and that of a cone, which is at an angle to the horizontal. This lab teaches how mass and radius of motion affect the centripetal force of an object. Students are required to design an experiment to study the variables that affect conical motion. Circular free body diagrams are taught. The kit includes rubber stopper, string, tube, washer masses, stopwatch, and a flying pig. Required but not included are a meter stick, balance, and support rods and clamps and batteries. The first experiment that you can have the students do is centripetal force in a horizontal circle. You have the students spin a rubber mass around in a circle, a spring-loaded stopper prevents this from going beyond a certain distance, and then you have washers to act as a counterweight. The students spin this around so this doesn't touch the bottom. You time 10 rotations. You determine the velocity based on the circumference around the circle. You have the mass, you have the radius. You can determine the centripetal force. And the washers will provide the actual centripetal force so the students can do a percent error. The second great experiment that you can do is have students investigate centripetal force at an angle. What the students would do is measure the time for 10 rotations, determine the time for one period, measure the angle off the vertical to determine what the centripetal force of the flying pig is going to be. This is also a great way to investigate free body diagrams of an actual moving object.